Hello again. In this video lecture, we're going to be talking about different types of healthcare data. So we'll be looking at data analysis today. We'll talk about different types of data analysis. We'll review different types of data. And then we'll take a look at the skills that are required for a career in healthcare data analytics. Data analysis is basically the root of healthcare. Healthcare is a data-driven business. We go to a physician's office, we have diagnostic tests done, we have a CBC done, we have a total cholesterol done, we may have a procedure and have tissue samples taken for a biopsy, but all these things come back to data. In addition to the diagnostic and the clinical data, we also have administrative data. Everything has a cost. So we're looking at a code, we're looking at a fee schedule, all these different types of things. So with data analysis, we're looking at taking this and transforming it into numbers, these numbers, text strings and what have you that are all disparate and fragmented and summarizing it so the clinicians and others can make meaningful decisions. We have primary and secondary analysis. Primary data analysis is using the data for its primary purpose. And so an obvious one, getting away from the clinical piece is billing and claims data. We use it to determine what services were given to the patient and what reimbursement is coming to the patient or the payer who owes what. Secondary data analysis is using that data beyond its primary purpose. So if we have a diagnosis code, an ICD-10 diagnosis code of hypertension, which is I-10, we assign it to that encounter where the physician's coming into the medical office. And we're seeing that this patient has this disease present at the time of that patient encounter. And then based on that, we can use other codes to determine the patient load. Right? In other words, how intensive the services were. And again, we want to make sure that in both the primary data analysis and the secondary data analysis that these uses are valid and reliable. And again, if we have data, we're going to use statistics, which is why we take healthcare statistics. There's a couple of different types of statistical analysis we'll look at here. These are descriptive statistics and inferential descriptive statistics, excuse me. Descriptive statistics basically are a characteristic of the population set. So we're looking at, say, a sample of patients who have their blood pressure taken, and we're looking at what's the median value of all the blood pressure readings. What's the average? What is the range? Those are descriptive statistics. Inferential is basically taking a sample and making conclusions, right? So people that go on a medication like Umera, they say 50% of patients on Umera, it will stop being effective within 10 years, right? That's an inference based on a small sample size or a large sample size. And that leads to the third bullet point under inferential statistics. These statistics are the ones that you read in these papers that have a probability of making an incorrect decision based on a sample. So in other words, does our sample resemble the population at large? And we'll talk more about that later in the course. We also have structured versus unstructured data. And this gets into some important concepts when we look at electronic health records. Let's deal with the easier one, which is structured data. 
This is discrete data. These are things that have a value that is typically a numerical value. And they're things like lab test, dates, patient age, CPT codes. These are discrete types of data. They're structured data. Unstructured data is basically text. So if you think about a pathology report, we have such things as moderately differentiated cells. Doesn't really say anything unless we have things in a context. These are things that we see in progress notes, comments, radiology reports. These are the narratives. So you can think of structured data as discrete data, numerical values, and unstructured as text. Qualitative data describes observations. So again, this is similar to unstructured data. It's You can think of it as a type of unstructured data. These are basically comments that could be recorded. These are impressions, typically nursing progress notes, what have you, or surveys. And then again, we can break data down into different scales. These are the kind of things you see in a survey monkey where we have categories, right? There's no order, they're just kind of distributions. So we have distributions by a diagnostic code, clinical units, colors. They're not really in any kind of an order, they're more in categories. Ordinal data is basically having an order. Right, so the severity of illness, ENM codes, things like that. Here's a good diagram that talks about the variable to scale in terms of data. Is the data measured in units? If it isn't, does it have a meaningful order or rank? Then if it if that's the if it doesn't, then it's either a nominal scale type of data or an ordinal scale. If the data is measured in units, days, dollars, meters, months, whatever it is, then it's either an interval scale or ratio scale. If you, this Table 1.2 here gives you more different ways of looking at these things. This will be very important for you to understand as you work your way through the rest of this course. The difference between nominal and ordinal data, interval and ratio data, very well summarized here in this table. Here's an example of inferential statistics from CMS. So we're comparing hospitals with the death rate for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So we're inferring that lower percentages are lower numbers of patients that die of the death rate from COPD between Riverside, Ohio State, and Mount Carmel. Lower numbers since we're talking about deaths is better. So again, when we look at the dotted line, we would infer that Mount Carmel is ahead of Ohio State. Another term that you hear a lot about with electronic health records is data analysis and data mining. Let's take a look at data mining first. Data mining is querying the electronic health record reporting system and asking a question to look for patterns in data, right? So if we go back to our COPD death rate, we're looking at mining data with all the patients who are admitted with COPD and looking for how many of them died given certain parameters. Exploratory data analysis is a secondary use of data. So in other words, we get that data that we may have mined and we're putting it in some sort of graphical analysis, some sort of plot chart. We're looking at trends, something along that line. Now, 
That's all I have for you. We'll see you online. Bye now.